Awesome. Thank you so much, Robin. Next up, we have Santiago. Hi everyone, I'm Santiago Soler, and I'm going to present you Pooch, a friend to fetch your data files. So I'm a scientific researcher, and usually we find ourselves in the situation that we want to download data files from the web. And we want an easy solution with very simple code that would allow, you, uh, that would allow us to reuse those downloaded files and it would be really nice if we can check if those files are corrupt or not because our whole workflow depends on those files. So the solution we, I have for you today is Pooch. Uh, Pooch is an open source Python uh, library that allows you to download files from the web through different protocols. It caches the files locally so you don't have to re-download them, saving time and bandwidth. And it also can check the integrity of those files while downloaded. So let's show you some examples on how you can use it. So let's say you have some website hosting a data file that you want to download, and you also know the hash of the file. So you can import pooch and use the retrieve function, passing the URL, the hash, and it will return, so it will download the file to the default cache folder of your OS and return the path to the file. So you can use it on any further step. You can tweak stuff, like for example, if you want to control where the file will be downloaded, you can just pass a, you can just pass a custom path. And you can also use different protocols, so if you're having an FTP server in your basement, you can totally use Pooch to download file from it. Another neat thing we have is uh, to be able to download files from services like Zenodo, Figshare, and Dataverse. Um, they offer you the possibility to create repositories where you can store data, and they provide you a DOI for each repository. A DOI is a digital object identifier. So you can, by passing the DOI and the file name you want to, uh, you want to download, you can just pass, uh, can just pass the DOI and the file name in the URL, and yeah, it will download it. A little bit more complex scenario, so let's say you have a website that has uh, a collection of files, right, and you want to be able to download some of them or all of them. So instead of using the retrieve function multiple times, which can be tedious, you can define a push object. And you can do that by the create function. It will return a push object, in this case, puppy. And it will require to pass uh, the base URL where all the files are being hosted. And a registry, which is a base, uh, it, it is a dictionary containing the file names and their hashes. So once you create the object, you can just use the fetch uh, method to grab any file you want. This is very useful for creating sample data sets for your packages so your users can play around and uh, learn how to use your package by, by downloading some sample data sets. Pooch has a very modular design. So uh, for example, you can define processors that um, perform some post-download actions. So for example, if you want to unpack archives well, after they've been downloaded, you can totally do that and you can define your own processors. And we have downloaders, so if you want to use some protocol that we don't support currently, you can totally write your own downloader. And also, you can write downloaders for interacting with any API that could be hosting your files. So feel free to plug your own classes. So Pooch right now is being used by SciPy, Scikit-Learn, X-Ray, Scikit-Image, amongst others, uh, basically to handle their sample data sets for running tutorials, uh, gallery examples, all the documentation. So we are really happy to, to support uh, the ecosystem with our solutions. So if you're interested in Pooch, just check the docs and start using it and join the conversation if you have some ideas that we can implement and if you want to collaborate, we are open to collaborations. 
So thank you very much.